If you've missed a period or two, it would be best to take a pregnancy test and find out if you're missing periods because you're pregnant. And if you are, congratulations. But if you're not pregnant and still having um, irregular cycles, it would be best to talk to a doctor if possible. If you're unable to talk to a doctor at this time, then there's a couple of things that you can do to try to pinpoint when your body is ovulating. Um, if you've had regular periods in the past, um, then you can kind of go off that to decide when you might be ovulating. If you had extra long cycles that were like, most regular cycles are 25 to 35 days in length, but if you had extra long cycles like 35 to 40 days long, you typically ovulate um, about 12 to 16 days before your next period is going to start. So you might be ovulating, say your cycles were 40 days long, you could be ovulating on day 24 when most women would be starting their cycle. Um, but to pinpoint it more exactly for you, look for other trends that might help you know what your body is doing. Um, most women will notice the change in cervical mucus when they're ovulating. And uh, it becomes more slippery, more clear, and uh, maybe a little bit thinner around the time of ovulation, and then after your body's ovulated, it returns to normal. So see if you notice the change in that. You can also check your basal body temperature, and this is where you take your temperature every morning before you get up out of bed, before you even go to the bathroom, and you'll notice a slight decrease around the time of ovulation, and then about 24 hours after, then there's a spike in your temperature, not like a fever or anything, but it just is an increase from what it has been. This will help you know over a period of a couple of months what your body's doing. You can also use over-the-counter ovulation kits, and it's similar to taking a pregnancy test. If you get a positive result, then you're in your fertile time. Basically, for a woman who has normal cycles, there's six days out of each month when you're fertile or can get pregnant. And so these ovulation kits can help you determine if your body's having an LH surge or a luteinizing hormone surge, which is associated with ovulation. And if you get a positive result, then you usually have 16 to 48 hours where you are fertile and you can get pregnant. And so if these, if these tips and tricks aren't helping, just tracking your cycles, watching things, trying to pinpoint more exactly when you're ovulating, if you're so irregular, you have no idea, then the best thing to do is to go to the doctor and they can talk to you more specifically about your individual situation, decide if there's anything that can be done to help get you more regular, and then based on that, help you have better chances of getting pregnant. If you have any other questions for me, feel free to ask them on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash intermountainmoms and recommend us to your friends and family too.